Hello all, welcome to eDrawMax. Let's begin with understanding what a block diagram is. A block diagram is a drawing or illustration of a system whose major parts or components are represented by blocks, and these blocks are joined by lines to display the relationship between subsequent blocks. Now let's learn more about the importance of block diagrams. Hardware and software developers utilize block diagrams to describe systems by illustrating their workflows and processes. Electricians need them to represent systems and their shifting. They are of great assistance when a clear picture of information or control flows is required, especially when a project has a myriad of processes. A block diagram represents complicated algorithms or flows of details or communication among precise components and graphically represented project processes are less strenuous to understand than when they're in text form. Now let's learn about the basic components of a block diagram. Here are five main components of block diagrams. The block represents the logical and physical components of the system. The part comprises all aspects modeled using aggregation and association. The reference has all the parts which were developed using aggregation and association. The standard port is the point of interaction between a system block and the corresponding environment. And the flow port is the point of interaction where a block can emerge from or to. Now let's understand the terms used in describing the relationships within block diagrams. Association explains the communication amongst the blocks. Aggregation describes how a unit gets made of parts. A composition is a proper form of aggregation in which the existence of an object which is part of a unit relies on the presence of the group. Generalization is a leading relationship between blocks in which a designated block contains all the properties of the entire block diagram. Now let's learn how to create a block diagram. Navigate to File, select New, and select basic from the list. Now click on the basic diagram option and then choose block diagram. There you'll find various templates of effective block diagrams to draw based on your requirements. Click on the plus icon to open a new drawing sheet. You can directly drag the 3D, 2D, connectors and basic drawing shapes and symbols from the symbol library on the left onto the drawing sheet as needed like this. To adjust a shape size, use the green selection handles. Now right inside the block by double-clicking on it. Add another block shape above the existing one by dragging and dropping from the library as you did in the previous step. To choose a connecting design, tap on the connector icon at the top. Continue drawing your block diagram by aligning and distributing the shapes and using your preferred colors or patterns to identify specific block parts. Make sure to label the blocks accordingly to ensure you have an ordered and distinct block diagram.
For a better view, deselect rulers and grid lines, and then select the From Current Page option to view the diagram in full screen. Now let's see some examples of block diagrams. Here's a communication system block diagram. This is a how to write a blog post diagram. And here's a Porter's Five Forces model diagram. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more eDrawMax videos. Please find the link in the description below to try eDrawMax online or to download the software.